Good day, mates. How you going? Alpha Lion Simba here, and welcome to another episode of Wonders from Down Under. Now, quite a few animals in Australia take flight, and they're mostly birds. But this one takes to the sky, but it is a mammal, and now it's not a bat. It's a marsupial called the Sugar Glider. So, let's glide into it. Cue the intro. The sugar glider lives in New Guinea, the surrounding islands, northern and eastern Australia, and it was introduced into Tasmania by European settlers in the 19th century. They usually live in patchy forests where there's enough space to glide from tree to tree. An adult male sugar glider weighs four to five ounces while an adult female weighs three and a half to five ounces. Their head and body is six to eight inches long, while their tail is six to eight inches long. The sugar glider gets its name because it gets around from tree to tree by jumping from a branch and gliding, much like North America's flying squirrel. The patagium stretches from the wrist to the ankle on each side, it is folded closed on the body when it's not in use. And when the sugar glider is in flight mode, it uses its tail like a rudder. The sugar glider is a social animal living within a group of up to seven individuals. By day, they rest in a tree hollow nest and they carry bunches of dry leaves in their curled tails to line the nest and huddle together or become torpid in cold periods. By night, they leave the nest in search of food. In the wild, the sugar glider feeds on nectar, pollen, sap, fruit, and gum, and they also eat insects and their larvae. The sugar glider's mating season is in August in southeastern Australia, but it's probably year-round in New Guinea. A mother sugar glider usually has one to three joeys per litter, and they're born after a gestation period of 16 days, but offspring later spend 70 days developing in the pouch. After those 70 days in the pouch, the young are placed in a communal nest. A month or so later, the young leave the nest to forage with the group. At the age of seven to 10 months old, a young sugar glider is chased from its parental group. Female sugar gliders reach maturity at one year old, while males reach maturity at a year and a half old. Sugar gliders can live to be up to seven years old. The sugar glider is currently listed as least concern and has a stable population in the wild. Well, that was it. My Wonders from Down Under episode on the Sugar Glider. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Alpha Lion Simba, out.